Well, hey everyone. When people discover my channel and they start watching my videos, they see that we live back in the woods, off the grid, without indoor plumbing and all that jazz. The first thing that they ask me is, how do we do laundry? I get asked that question a lot. So over the last several months, my answer has been the same. And I've told everyone just to hold on. I will be covering that topic in a video very soon. Well, that day has come. Today, I'm going to make a video about our laundry facilities and how we do our wash up here on the mountain. So follow me out to the shed and I'll show you what we got going on. Whenever I talked about setting up a washing machine with gravity fed water, I had folks come forward and tell me that the system probably won't work because the washers require pressurized water before the internal pump will start drawing water. Doesn't really make any sense to me. I don't know why that is, but it is how it is. Now I have seen washing machines work with gravity fed water in the past, but that water was coming from a higher elevation and as it comes down it would build up pressure on its own and it was enough pressure for the internal pump to start drawing water into the drum. Right? The application that I want, I don't have that opportunity. I want my drum of water right here in the shed because I'm utilizing the heat that is generated from the propane freezer to keep my water from freezing and then I can do laundry all year long. All right. So I had to see for myself. I hooked up the system, turned it on. Those folks were right. The water would not go into the drum. Okay. The washer would not suck that water. All right, plan B. I've got 12 volt pumps. I got all kinds of stuff I've salvaged from old campers. I disconnected everything, inserted the 12 volt pump, hooked everything back up. It works like a charm. When I set up my system, I used what I had on hand. I had a 12 volt pump that I salvaged out of an old camper. So that's what I used for this experiment. Turns out the pump works great. The whole system works flawlessly. We're doing laundry. Perfect. But since I'm going to be running the generator to power the washer, I think it would serve me better to run the whole system off of the same power source. Instead of needing 12 volt battery to run this little 12 volt pump and then be running a generator at the same time to run the washing machine, it just makes more sense to have it all running on the generator at one time. So I ordered a pump. I'll put the link down in the description below so you can see what I ordered. But before I dismantle this system, I want to show you how I have it set up because it's very simple and you can get these pumps out of old campers. And I made a video a while back how you can get a lot of cool stuff out of old campers. I'll put a link to that video in the description below as well. There's a lot of good info in that video. So I'm going to just show you how I have this set up because like I said, it's very, very simple. Anybody can do it. And there's a lot of you folks running to the laundromat just like I was. All right. And this will keep you at home and getting the job done. Okay. This is my setup as it is right now in the experimental stage. Got my tank of water, line comes out, I've got a shut off, 12 volt pump, and this goes down to the washing machine. Then I have the discharge line coming out of the washer, and it just goes to a PVC and drains down into my dry well. Okay, I know you guys are going to get a chuckle out of this because it does look pretty funny. I'll explain why I did this. All right, I know it's got one feed line and then it goes to two. Uh, feeds to the washer a hot and a cold well all we have is cold water in here and I was going to run this cold line straight to the cold intake on the washer but I wasn't sure if 
the hot water intake would spit water and leak all over the place during the cycle. I don't have a cap for the port, so I got to use what I have on hand, and what I have is both hoses. So I said to heck with it, I hooked them to a Y, the washer works great, it's both cold water, who cares? The system doesn't leak, it works, so I'm happy. But I know some people are going to get a real chuckle out of that, because that's a backwoods cob job, if I ever saw one. <laughs> Pretty simple, okay? When I want to do the wash, I fill up the tank, I turn this on, water comes down to the pump, I hook the pump to 12 volt batteries right there. You could work with just one, but I have two of them linked together. This fires up, sends water down to the washing machine, and then the pump will shut off. When this gets turned on and starts drawing water, the pump will fire up and it'll pump water into the washer until it reaches its capacity and then it stops pumping water. The pump shuts off and it starts washing. And the first time that kicked on and started washing clothes up here on the mountain, we were doing the happy dance. <laughs> All right, so before I get started here, what I'm gonna do is fire up the generator, plug in the washing machine, get that ready to roll. I'm gonna plug in the sump pump, and that's just gonna fill that up. It takes probably two minutes to fill that up. Then I'll shut that down, I'll turn on the feed line, hook that to the batteries, and we will be doing wash. Okay, I fired up the generator. I'm going to fill that tank up before we get started. Just going to plug in the sump pump. Now, like I said, this whole setup is temporary. It's my experiment. So don't bust my balls about the cop job with the hoses and wires and stuff like that. That'll only take a minute or so to fill up. I'm going to replace this with a 55 gallon drum laying on its side. Once I fill it up, I'm good to go. I know that that's going to be ample water to do a load of wash. So just get everything fired up and just leave it alone until the laundry is done. All right. All righty, let's give it a go. There we go. Pump is on, pumping water. The pump turned on automatically once the washer turned on and started drawing water. Alrighty, that's getting filled up. And once it reaches where it doesn't need any more water and stops drawing water, the pump will shut off. You'll hear it throttle down and then shut off. There we go. We're doing wash, folks. We planned on setting this up a long time ago. But when we sold the house, moved up here to the mountain, started a new life, there was just too many other things to do first. Now most of you know that our signal was too poor back here in the woods for us to upload videos. We have to go to town to do that. The laundromat had pretty good Wi-Fi. So we killed two birds with one stone. While Lori did the wash load, I did the upload. All right, I never enjoyed being there. I didn't like the expense involved. And to be honest with you, I think the washers at the laundromat do a piss poor job of cleaning the clothes. But then this pandemic started. It was a good motivator for us to get this thing hooked up and give it a go. Laundromat is the last place I want to be. So, we hooked it up. It's doing laundry as you can see. This is a 35 gallon tank and we started out with a full tank, about 35 gallons. And it started filling and it brought us down to where there was about 17 gallons left in the tank. This little mark right here. 
Then it started the wash cycle, which it's doing right now. And I pumped some more water in, and I brought it up to here. And when the rinse cycle starts, the water level will come back down to about here. So in total, it takes about 32 gallons, 34 gallons, somewhere in that ballpark to do a load of wash. All right, she's giving her a good spin now. We're almost done the spin cycle. And we'll switch over to the rinse cycle. The pump will turn on and she'll start pulling some clean water now. There we go. Pump is on. Drawing some rinse water. Fantastic. Alrighty, she'll probably get it drawn down to right about that mark. And then it'll stop drawing water and do its thing. There we go. Yep. Right on the money. So this is all you gotta do. You live out in the woods, you wanna do the wash, this is it. Freaking awesome. <laughs> when I decided to set up a system here to do the wash, I mean, my brain was full of ideas. So many different ways to accomplish this. I was gonna have the gutter come in and feed the tank automatically. Um, just having a cut barrel here on the floor, just fill it up with buckets. I mean, that's pretty simple. Just as long as you have a self-priming pump, I mean, or you know, gate valve at the bottom of the feed line or something. There's so many ways to do it. Yeah, and it's, it's a fun experiment. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. A simple but effective laundry system. We have an old washer that we got on Craigslist for $30, a salvaged old pump, a tank of water, and connected it together with a little bit of PEX line. Anybody can do this. You don't have to be a plumber to put this together because, to be honest with you, and it's probably pretty obvious <laughs> that when it comes to plumbing, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I really don't, okay? <laughs> but this works. It works like a charm. So down in the description below, I'll put the link to the PEX line that I use because that stuff's really easy to work with. So you can see what I'm using. I'll put the link to the electric pump that I ordered. I'll put a link to a 12 volt pump, just like this one, because you can buy them brand new for about 65 bucks, somewhere in there. And uh, give it a go. Just find some old cheap washer to mess with you know, you will have to have a generator that's got enough power to run your washer. And uh, we're just using rainwater, okay? We're bucketed in right now, but I'm going to have a better system. And once I have that big tank up there where I know it's enough water to run the washing machine, and I fill it up, and I fire everything up, and then I can just walk away and let it do its thing, and that's going to be fantastic. So I know that a lot of off-griders have this laundry dilemma, and we did too for a while. Uh, I, th I thought to do this years ago, and it just never got to it. But now we're doing it, and I'm glad. I'm glad we're doing it, and it's awesome. So uh, no more laundromat for us. So if this helps you out or sparks some ideas that get you started putting your own system together, and you're putting it in your videos, you know, if it helps you out, help me out, share the love, share my channel, tell people, you know, where you got your information, or whatever, you know, what comes around goes around. If it helps you, help me in the, in the process. It would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, so when I get my system upgraded with the other tank and all of that, I'll give you another update here in the near future. All right, so until then, all the best to you, and God bless. Frank and the boss out walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go, there's a pokey way up in that tree. A beaver built a pond where they have some fun, taking life a day at a time. Best friends until the end. 
Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss 